Hello everyone, this is Kai Rondo here, um, aka, uh, he's been known as Kai Kai one one oh oh. Um, got some news for you guys. Coming from the ACDC camp today is that there's been announced that there is a new album called Rocker Bust. And there will be touring next year. The album will be coming out on, out on December 2nd. So, it looks like a good year for rock and metal. Well, more so rock. Because we have, you know, Slash's new album. Ace Lisa's new album. Tom Petty's new album came out this year. So, it seems like a good time for rock and roll. Um, unfortunately, well, which... I'll be able to see ACDC, my first ACDC show, hopefully. Because I'm not missing any more shows that I've been wanting to see. I miss Black Sabbath. I'm going to be missing Judas Priest for the for the third time now. God, I got sick of to where a lot of these great bands are coming in. And I'm missing them, so. I know that's part of life. But I don't want to regret missing this show. And what if this tour, they announce that this is their last tour? I doubt it, but it'll be kind of sad if it, if if that's the case. But, unfortunately, they gave us another update about Mal Malcolm. He has permanently retired from ACDC due to his health problems. Um, um, Angus and his nephew will be taking over uh, Stevie Young. He uh, actually um, temporarily took over Malcolm's role during their 1988 tour. So, I guarantee you that Stevie can definitely fail in, the, fail in the shoes that Malcolm has left. I don't consider it as a replacing. I consider it as succeeding or a successor. Um, kind, of like, kind of like with Brian Johnson... I don't consider him the replacement of Bon Scott because to me Bon Scott and Malcolm will always be a part of the band. No matter how much people can deny me or not. And I bet you a lot of ACDC fans probably agree with that. Um, so get well soon, Malcolm. And we and um and hope you pull through. With uh whatever you're going through right now so um, I've seen some people say that Malcolm's not a big part of ACC he is a big part of the drive force he is he he wrote a lot of songs him and he, and Angus are the two people that start that starts working on the next album so unfortunately <sighs> Angus has some shoes Angus, I'm sure that Angus can write some killer songs. ACDC has been known to put out some good albums, so. Can't wait. Even though. Even. Even though. Even though they gave us two great pieces of update and all that, and then they gave us. And then they dropped us with one with Malcolm. You know, I'm not happy about it. I mean, you don't like it when a member leaves a band. You know, kind of like with Slipknot out with Joey Jorison, which who I go to speculate it's either drugs or Joey has been kind of a butt to them. I don't really know what's going on on the Slipknot camp. Hopefully, they will announce why Joey left. Well, why why Joey was let go? I hope they do. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. I tell you, I do these videos late. Around 1 a.m. Just so that my head is not filled up with all these thoughts. Um, another big info I want to talk about is something that I kind of touched in a previous video, but I haven't really discussed it here. Um, the Star Wars fan base, if you will, which I'm a part of. I'm, Kind of like how Godzilla fans and horror fans say they they was born one and they die as one. I was I was born a Star Wars fan and I'll die a Star Wars fan. 
I'll get my kids in Star Wars. But the the Source fan base is probably is probably as passionate as passionate as the Godzilla fan bases and horror fan bases. But unfortunately, the Star Wars fan base has a certain fans that bitch about the prequels a little bit too much or if it's about Jar Jar Binks or if it's about Hayden Christensen performance as Anakin Skywalker or whatever or the whole Han Shoot Han Shoot's first bullshit. A lot of you know one of my Facebook buddies um actually commented a lot of my posts about stars and he puts on thoughts. I do agree with what he's saying and all that, but in my point of view it's like I mean, I do think that it wasn't right for for George Lucas to do what he did to the original three, but it's his movies. He has that right. <sighs> and no matter how much fans want to complain about it or not, Those those special editions are here to say if you want the originals, track down the freaking V, the VHS. I'm not missing nothing. I don't care about the original movies. I don't care. Worry about the whole Honshu thing. Is I'm not bothered. The only edit there's only two edits I'm bothered by. It's in the Blu-ray edition. During episode six, where. It's it's during when Darth Vader's trying to choose between helping his son or killing Luke, if you will, trying to figure out what he's gonna do. He says no from episode three. Which is a big meme thing. And I really hate that because that scene to me is supposed to be one of the most powerful scenes in Star Wars. That's when Anakin is trying to fight himself. And trying to Say, you know, like, this is my son. I can't let him do this to my son. But at the same time, this other part I'm saying, but I'm loyal to my old friend and my, and pretty much my father. Because no matter, Palpatine was in a way the father figure of Anakin, even though we all see, we all saw what happened. And the thing is, though, shit. Huh. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean I don't mean to yawn. I hope this doesn't annoy you at all. But the and that's the scene I really do not like because I I'm normally fine with uh, most of the Star Wars edits. I'm even fine with the whole Anakin voice, the Anakin ghost controversy edit to where they replace. Sean, um, uh, uh, Sebastian Shaw with Hayden. I'm not, you know, I don't mind that because technically by the whole rules that George Lord made, you, when somebody becomes Sith, their old self dies. So it kind of makes sense that they would revert back to that they were before turning into Sith. If I'm correct, I'm not bothered by that thing. But the the other thing I don't like is the whole Ewok eye blink thing. That was unneeded. That was not right. The one that I did like was the episode one Yoda turning from the puppet to CGI. I thought that puppet was disgusting. I hated that puppet. He looked older, and with that puppet. Then he did with the episode five or six puppet that they had. That puppet was disgusting looking. I hated it. I hate that style of Yoda so much. To me, that would be probably considered as the uh, the one Godzilla suit from um, that they later on used that a lot of people did not like. I forgot that suit name. I'm tired right now, so a lot of my memory's fuzzy. But like I said, you know, there's all there's these. There's these Star Wars fans that complain about everything. I keep thinking, like, okay, I understand your opinion, but don't keep dragging 
the, the dead horse a lot. What I'm saying is, though, do not complain about the more minor things about Star Wars. You could be lucky, and George Lucas, before Disney got the rights to it, could, could, could have said straight out that, fuck you all, I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow Star Wars to be sold anymore. I'm going to revoke my rights from Hasbro. Can't have nothing if you guys can't appreciate it. And the thing is, though, that's also why he wasn't going to make episode 79. He knew that he had haters. And he's like, well, since, well, well, since people are just going to constantly complain, I'm not going to do it. That's basically what he said. So, pretty much, the fans of Star Wars, I think, like I said, are the most passionate, but also the most critical. If there are critics that really are critical on the prequels, it's our, it's the haters. And in my personal opinion, you know, I liked 4, 5, and 6 and all, but I consider them all as one whole movie. Like I said, they said episode 1, 2, 3, because they're episodes. They are two hour to an hour and a half long episodes. And pretty much, um, pretty much the whole Star Wars thing is about Anakin. No matter how much you guys want to say, oh, Luke was the main character in 4, 5, and 6. This the story was a revolver on Anakin trying to redeem himself, trying to find himself. And trying to fight his inner darkness. Kingdom Hearts influence, maybe? Hmm. I mean, maybe Kingdom Hearts had some influence from Star Wars. Because Riku? It's kind of funny when you think about it. Um, that's all I'm going to say about Star Wars. I, I could talk about that for a whole, whole hour long thing. Another thing I want to talk about is the Call of Duty fan base and the state is right now. I play Black Ops 2, I play Call of Duty Ghosts. And I also play Battlefield 4 and Halo as well. Well, I wish I could play Halo still, but, um, the Call of Duty fan base is one of the, me, the most controversial fan bases in the gaming world. It's very not respected because of because of how the players are. They whine too much. They can't accept they lost a match. They can't accept that they died in a game. And they think everyone's camping. And they think everyone is hacking. That's, to me, that's why I hate, that's why I always meet people. Because I don't want to deal with those type of fans. I play to have fun. And I don't know when gaming ended up not being fun anymore. I think it started when online gaming got real big with, you know, the original Xbox that came around and all that. And they had Halo on there and Halo 2. And then finally, they thought, hmm, to where Activision or whoever owned or the rights at the time for Call of Duty said, hmm, maybe we should make our own because this seems to be the future that, that video games are going. Should be told. Look what happened. You can't go on a freaking gaming website without seeing some Call of Duty fanboy on there. I prefer Battlefield 4. I actually prefer the Battlefield series. It's more funner. It's not as annoying. And every outcome is different. Which I like because with every outcome... You don't know what's going to happen. You, you don't know how you're going to die. You're, gonna, you're, you're not going to know if a building is going to get crumbled down. And you and you can drive vehicles, and the maps are huge and you know just awesome looking. But with Call of Duty, it's like they're pretty much milking the cow a little bit too much, like change it up a bit. I mean, that's why with Advanced Warfare, they think, yeah, we gotta we gotta go back to the drawing board and do a minor tweak to the gameplay. I mean, I still buy it, but like all fan bases, when it comes to Call of Duty, I'm a part of it, but I don't make it obvious. I tell people, I play Call of Duty, but I'm not one of those whiny assholes that you hear people on there. And if any Call of Duty fans come out here, bash my, I'm going to let you all know right now. Rank does not mean shit. A, a noob 
a, a level 1 noob that has prestige could be better than a prestige master. I was one of those guys that was like that. And I still am on my good day. I'm not trying to be arrogant. It's fact. I don't play that game as much. I'm not a prestige master because I don't care. I'm taking my time with that game. I'm not trying to get addicted because I get burned out a little bit too easily with that game. I'm, I'm pacing myself. And shit, over uh, 15, uh, hopefully this video will still upload. But all I have to say is, video games are meant to be fun. They're meant to be relaxed and not getting mad. I know that competitive nature is part of humans. But don't let it control your actions to where you get pissed off and you keep going back in. And it's later on you're tired. Do not do that because you're gonna you're, you're gonna get even more pissed off if you die because you're because your mind is constantly to where you're tired and you're also frustrated. It's a bad combo. So, but anyways, um, this is kind of this is kind of Rimdo here. Um, I know that with Star Wars and Call of Duty, and I haven't touched any much of it. I know that this, these are mostly uh, vlogs and all that. And I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to think of something to do. I think I'm going to be doing my CD collection for sure. For you all. And probably do a... I'll do a guitar cover. I'll do a song I've been working on. Actually, it's more of a solo. But anyways, uh, this is Kyron. This is Kyron. This is Kyron Do here. Um, rock on. And I'll be ordering my complete collection for Halloween this today. Hopefully. Most likely. And I'll unbox that. I'm going to do it at night. Um, so, rock on.